Edward Barine was born in 1872 in San Leandro, California, son of a deputy sheriff, and was one of the few Western painters actually born in the West. At age five, Edward Barine sketched his first piece, Two Horses Pulling a Hearst. Barine knew his way around a horse, and by 18 had a horse, a bedroll, and rode down to a ranch near San Jose to work as a cowboy. Breen ended up in Oakland after one year of cowboying. His mother, upon seeing the quality of his sketches, realized he was a cowpuncher that could draw and enrolled him into the California School of Design. But he dropped out only after a month. However, at art school, he met Jimmy Swinnerton and lifelong friend Maynard Dixon, who were both enthusiastic and advised Edward Breen to continue his art on his own. Breen once again tried cowboying this time to the 45,000-acre Rancho San Maria, where he found the work grueling beyond his previous experience. While at the ranch, Edward Breen sent two drawings to Charles Loomis, publisher of Land of Sunshine. He bought them both for $15. After Rancho San Maria, Edward Breen headed to Mexico, where he learned Spanish and sketched local lifestyle and landscape while working as a vaquero on a series of ranches. Crossing the border back into the United States, Edward Breen came in contact for the first time with Navajo, Hopi, Zuni, and Pima Indian tribes. In 1900, Edward Breen took an illustration job at the San Francisco Call, and in 1901, he and Maynard Dixon, also a Californian-born artist, began a thousand-mile horseback trip leaving May 6 from Oakland, California to the wilds of Idaho, sketching cowboys punching horses. In 1903, Barine went to Phoebe Hearst Ranch in New Mexico and visited El Paso, Laguna, Acoma, Taos, Aribe, and Wallaby. These sketches Edward Barine made during this period would be drawn upon numerous times for later etchings. His Indian ink drawings appeared in Harper's, Collier's Weekly, Sunset Magazine, The Saturday Evening Post, and ads for Stetson Hats, Pierce Arrows, and Aunt Jeremiah. Edward Breen's burgeoning success convinced him to move to New York City in 1907, the same time Maynard Dixon moved there, where he worked for 12 years as an artist and an illustrator. Edward Breen became friends with Will Rogers and his idol, Charlie Russell, and met many of the major figures of Western art and entertainment. Russell was impressed by Boreen's work and told him that he could be the best oil painter of continued practice. Taking this as a thin, veiled criticism, Edward Breen ceased painting oils for a time, and would concentrate on watercolors for the rest of his career. In 1921, tired of New York City, Barine moved back to California, where he married his sweetheart Lucille at Charles Loomis's house under his favorite sycamore tree, just as Dixon had done in 1905, and then settled in Santa Barbara, where Edward Barine became a member of the Santa Barbara Art Club. Barine is known for his bucking cowboys and detailed etchings, saying once, I'll leave only an accurate picture of the West." Nothing else but that. If anything isn't authentic or just right, I won't put it in any of my work. 